Hesitis It is an abnormal fluid collection in the peritoneal cavity due to various causes. It is classified into mild, moderate or gross ascites depending on the amount of fluid accumulation. Ultrasound helps in quantifying the amount of fluid collection and thus the ascitic tapping is planned accordingly. The procedure is done under universal sterile precautions. Insertion site is cleaned with 2% chlorohexidine. The point of entry is either McBurney's point, which is medial two third to lateral one third from umbilicus to anterior superior iliac spine or the most dependent point detected on ultrasound. Here, the needle is directed in a Z-track method so that there will not be any seepage of ascitic fluid post-procedure. Biochemical test of the fluid helps in detecting whether the ascites is an exudative or transudative. It can be classified depending on the serum ascites albumin gradient. Therapeutic tapping, it is done for severe ascites causing abdominal or respiratory distress. Done with 16 gauze venflon, it is directed at 90 degree angulation so that the venflon will not kink and there will be a free flow. For large volume paracentesis, more than 4 to 5 liters, albumin solution is administered to prevent any hemodynamic compromise. Pigtail drainage, done in refractory gross ascites, mostly malignancy related. Once the ascetic tapping is done, then the guide wire inserted. Then the insertion point dilated with multiple dilators.
I have four friends. Pigtail, catheter is inserted, and suture. It is then connected to a drainage bag. 